Gym class? No, that's me. Oh. Who is she and why does she have her own song? Did someone take my lunch? Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, marching in her own parade. Pepper Ann, she's like one in a million. Pepper Ann, Pepper Ann, much too cool for seventh grade. No one's cooler than Pepper Ann. She's her own biggest fan, Pepper Ann. Scuff marks. Uh, I can't show them to you because I can't pick them up. Isn't spring the coolest? There's flowers everywhere. And those cocoon thingies start hatching and butterflies pop out. And look, the sky's sunny all the time. Man, there's no better way to spend a spring day than to just sprawl out and... Pepper on. Rot in detention. If you'd shut your huge yap on heed, someday we'd get out of this joint. For the last time, no talking, no looking out the window, nothing. Don't make me get medieval on you. But, Vera, it's the first day of spring. You both should have thought about that before you put a rat trap to Mr. Carter's new toupee. It looked like it was attacking him. We learned our lesson. Zip your gaping maw! Pepper Ann. Do it! Escape! Spring fever. Need sunlight. Must escape! She looks like Scully without the pantsuit. Maybe she's a hologram. Pardon them. They have all the social skills of rabid baboons. What is this place? <sighs> this place is the chess club. Checkmate. Why do I even try? Why? <laughs> ah, a new opponent. My name's Alf. Have a seat. Say, are you named after the... No. And just to warn you, I haven't lost a game since Deep Voyager 5 was preempted by El Nino coverage. Uh, needless to say, I just wasn't myself. Your move. Uh, sorry, but I don't really... Don't be intimidated. Chess is quite simple, really. The rook moves here, the knight, like that. The queen can go there, there, or anywhere. But the pawn's only there, and the king only there. And the king and the rook, so the king and the rook, so the Stop! I get it. Let's play. Oh. Bingo. <gasps> you mean checkmate. All I know is my horsey takes your king, dude, and that means I beat your booty. Wow. Well, see ya. I... Wait, <laughs> this can't be. You, you've never played chess? No, but my friend Nikki took me to see that movie about the guy who was really good. Bobby Fisher. No, my friend Nikki. Uh, another game. Just, just play me one more game, and then you can go. Sorry, Charlie. Chess is boring. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm late for an appointment with Mr. Sunshine. Call me Mr. Sunshine. Wow, you lost, Alf. That means she's the reigning champ. But who was that alien genius? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. <gasps> I, I found her! Pepper Ann Pearson! <gasps> Set your lasers on stunning. Hey, look at this! Pearson is soccer sensation! Pearson is football sensation! Pearson involved in... Bizarre trampoline incident. This Pepper Ann is nothing more than a show-off. Rest assured, I will find her, and I will regain my title. She's obviously regaling her friends with news of her victory. Uh, all right, boys, let's move in. <laughs> and so the elephant says, that's nose to me. <laughs> Get it? Nose? <laughs> oh, hey, guys, this is Alf. I beat him playing chess today. Say, are you named after... No. 
Pepper Ann, winning a game of chess, a game requiring intense concentration and calculation. Oh, <laughs> that's rich. No offense. It's totally not a big deal. It's just chess. Uh, just chess? Well, if it's just chess, then play me in a rematch. The chess room. Five minutes. What do you say? Thanks, but spending my lunch hour sitting in geeks and trowel, moving around little plastic horsies isn't my cup of tea. Oh, I get it. You're scared. Oh, pfft. Unless you can use that calic of yours as some kind of weapon, there is nothing about you that scares me. So just play me. Oh. Checkmate. 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 Check. Oh, I'm sorry. It's still your move. Checkmate. Mm -hmm. Pepper Ann, I'm stunned. You're a, a chess prodigy. It's like that movie you saw with Bobby Fischer. Remember? Nikki, I saw that movie with you. Besides, who cares about chess? I care. It's what I do. I play this game to win, and I'm not stopping until I win. Then play someone else, because I'm outie. It's time for this little prodigy to play some crunch pod. <laughs> Nose to me. I just got it. How dare she just breeze in from out of nowhere, steal my title, and breeze out. I must get her to play me again. It's the only way I can regain my title and set things right with the world. But she refuses. I'll follow her to the ends of the earth if I have to. Starting with where she plays Punch Crod. <laughs> uh, what's Punch Crod? Crunch Pod is part of the video game phenomenon. It involves computer graphics and rapid-fire sound effects which assault the senses. In short, <sighs> brain candy for the weak-minded. Drag race! I demand a rematch! Beat it, Alf. I'm on level 12. Our game! Car... Clean up aisle four! So, are you ready to play me? Move it, Alfie. You're blocking my shot. <sighs> Tired. Hey, you! Okay. If you're Tired. gonna be on the field, it's fine, but you gotta hustle! No, not right. the hustle! Just hustle! Hey, Gurleen. What you been up to? What the? He's a sore loser, chess freak. Just ignore him. That's what I'm doing. I'll have the triple chocolate death blast Sunday. Ditto. Haven't you heard the lactose horror stories? What's your problem? Uh, thankfully, Knockwood, I don't have one. I mean, I've never really tasted ice cream or any sort of dairy products for fear that I might have an LP. You know, lactose problem. And don't get me started on those synthetic fat-free chips. Yikes! I mean, in general, what's your problem? What the? Ah. It's only getting worse, guys. I haven't eaten a meal in peace in the last three days. Oh, how does he do that? Pepper Ann, we all have our little obsessions. Remember when I used to be obsessed with Jane Eyre? I would watch Joan Fontaine in the classic film version, and then I would play, then rewind, then play, then rewind, then play, then rewind, until I almost lost my mind! Come back to me, Jane! Come back! But that was then. This is now. Maybe Alf is already over it. Well, now that you mention it, I haven't actually seen him today. Well, uh, ooh, ah. Uh -huh. I have. Oh, yeah. I'm a rook. I'm a rook. Whoop, whoop! Enough! Why can't you get it through your thick skull once and for all that I'm not going to play you? Newsflash, you lost! Deal with it! I don't care how, just as long as you don't do it around me! I've seen you, Pepper Ann. I know you're good at science and soccer and talking to people. Me, I'm only good at one thing. Chess. And now that's gone. And I'm left with, well, nothing. Sorry for bothering you. He'll get over it. Right? I mean, no matter what he says, chess is still just a game. <laughs> right? Sure it is, Pepper Ann. Just like soccer is just a game. Or Crunch Pod, for that matter. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, someone should really do something about that first step. Oh, it's her. Is, uh, Alf around? 
No one's seen him for days. Thanks to you, miss. Let's shatter someone's ego in the cafeteria right in front of everyone. <sighs> I just wanted to tell him that, well, you guys may be a little bit out there. Not that there's anything wrong with being out there, but just because something's not important to me doesn't mean it's not important to somebody else. So if you see him, tell him I'm sorry. I appreciate that, Pepper Ann. But you know something? There is more to life than just chess. <gasps> In the past few days, I got 10 high scores on CrunchPod. I learned how to program the new scoreboard, and last night, I ate a triple chocolate death blast sundae. And you loved it? No! I'm totally and completely lactose intolerant. But, but I never would have known it if I hadn't tried it. And then I got to thinking that I've never been good at anything else because I've never tried to be good at anything else. That's great, Alf. But if you want, I'll play you one more game of chess to set things straight. Okay. Bingo. I lost? But how is that possible? I'm a prodigy. I probably just got lucky. Come on, Pepper Ann. It's a nice day. Heck, it's spring. Let's go out and do something we've never done. Like, uh, fly fishing. Fly fishing? Uh, uh and being spontaneous? Go with me here? Uh-uh. Not till you play me again. Come on, one game, just one. Oh, now I get it. You're scared. Scared of the prodigy. Hey, I know you can hear me. I'm talking to you. Hey, come back here. Come on, one game. Get up, Z. Get up, Z. Get up, Z. No more snoozing, honey. Uh -huh. The early peppy gets the worm. <laughs> 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 Save some water for the fishes! Ugh. Despite being hounded from my sleep and rushed through my morning beauty routine, I have managed to salvage a perfect hair day. Peppy, you've got to eat something for breakfast. <gasps> Sorry, Mom, no time for to- <clears throat> If you don't eat now, you'll be hungry at school. You won't be able to concentrate, you'll flunk out and end up working gum removal at Hazelnut Amphitheater. Pepper Ann Pearson, are you leaving this house without your helmet? Just this one time, Mom. You see, I have perfect hair and I... It's better to have your hair messed up by a helmet than a crosstown bus. Uh, honestly, Peppy, I'm just looking what? out for your best interests. Ugh. If it made you so angry, why are you still wearing the helmet, hay? In a matter of seconds, my best hair to date was savagely transformed into helmet hair by that woman. I can't bear to look at it. That woman, as you so rudely referred to your mother, was only looking out for your best interests. Ah! Nikki, you sound just like her, my best interests. At the time, my best interest was my hair. I'm sick of being told what to do and when to do it. Somehow, I'm going to show my mom that I can take care of myself my own way. Um, not that I'm trying to tell you how to live your life, but you need to hold the white button until you're over the chute. Cool! A free set of earrings from Clarence's Clarence Jewelry. Too bad none of us are pierced. <gasps> Milo, this is a sign! I'm gonna get my ears pierced and no one's gonna tell me how or when or when. It'll be completely, entirely my own decision! So should I pierce my lobes or my upper ear? Hey! Without that white button tip, you'd still be looking for a sign. One of those earrings is mine, sister. What happens when you have to sneeze? <laughs> you can't be serious. Piercing your upper ear is literally and metaphorically a painful cry for attention. I'm not looking for attention. Piercing my upper ear is just something I can do that my mom has no say in. I'd give up government secrets before I'd let anyone pierce my upper ear. Not that I have any. Because I don't. You know that, right? Nikki, 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 Nikki. You can't live your life afraid of a little pain. Now step aside. Mama's getting pierced. And so is Papa. Not in my store. What? You heard the bald, pierced, growling man. Let's go home. Look, kids, if you're under 18, you have to get parental consent. You can't possibly believe your mom's gonna go for this. 
Mom has said no to me enough times. By the time I'm through presenting my case, she'll beg me to pierce my ear. Even Cleopatra had her upper ear pierced. Mom couldn't possibly say no to jewelry with such historical significance. What about the risk of serious bloodborne infection? This website says that ear piercings constitute the most socially acceptable form of body piercings in industrialized countries. Now, would ear piercing be acceptable if that were really a problem? Hey, Sketch, I was thinking about getting my upper ear pierced. Does it hurt? Ow! 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 No. I've scoured the library and the web and created pie charts and colored presentation boards outlining the piercing process. There's no way she can say no. But, Mom, that's how ears are being pierced these days. Peppy, piercing the cartilage of your upper ear sounds dangerous and a little barbaric. <sighs> Possibility of infection, ear loss, and worse? <sighs> I'm sorry, but I'm not going to sign this waiver. But, Mom... Peppy, trust me, you don't want to end up looking like Van Gogh. I mean, how could she say no to a pie chart? I'm never going to be able to do what I want to do. I'm sorry, but she's just doing her job as a mother. I bet Cleopatra's mother never said no to pie charts. It's a small consolation, but if you couldn't get the waiver signed, I doubt Milo could either. I got the waiver signed! Well, my stepdad signed. He wants me to think he's cool. I don't know if piercing body parts is the best way to open up the lines of father-child communication, but... Hello, you've reached Chuck Pearson at Nice Week Blimp. If this is Pepper Ann, press 1. If this is Joe from Helium Schmelium, press 2. For a list of scheduled blimp appearances in your area, press 3. To use the blimp, Pepper Ann, I'm sorry, but I am not going to sign that waiver. <clears throat> you called to warn him? Well, I guess I got up early enough to beat the peppy to the worm. You don't trust me. I do trust you, and I am going to let you pierce your ears. Every time I wa- What did you say? You can pierce your ears any way you like when you're 13. 13? That's forever! I want to pierce them now! Peppy, this is a serious decision, and I don't want you making it overnight. If you really want to do it, you'll still want to when you're 13. Why do I always have to wait? Because if I didn't make you wait, my attic would be filled with fly fishing gear. I was nine. A karaoke machine. I was ten, and you shouldn't knock the classics. And an astroturf putting green. That was so two months ago. I am totally out of my Tiger Woods phase. Though he is still quite a hottie. Pepper Ann, that is my final word on the subject. Now, I drafted an agreement. If you still want your upper ear pierced at 13 and agree to maintain a daily antibacterial ear scrub regimen, I agree to let you. Moose, shrimp skewers will be ready in hmm. 10. All right, you've got the signature. But it's on the wrong piece of paper. Hello? Ever heard of tracing? You can forge Mom's signature on the waiver. Mom will understand when she sees how cool you look. Besides, you're only piercing one ear. Even if something goes wrong, you still got a spare. <gasps> if you forge that waiver, you will betray your mom's trust. It's wrong. Mom is just looking out for your best interests. Enough with the best interests. If anyone knows what's best for me, it's me. Oh, nice kitty. Huh? Huh? Ah! Peppy, this is forging. It's wrong, not to mention illegal. And I don't make my L's that loopy. I said no, and that's that. Well. I guess that's that. Yep. I can't believe you forged your mother's signature. Yeah, it took forever to get the L right. Yeah, it'll be a few minutes. I already have a couple of customers in the Lansing Lounger. Now's our chance. Run! Hmm. Don't uh -huh. even think about it. <gasps> All right. I sterilized the low blasterator and she's ready to rumble. Who's next? Uh, maybe this isn't the best idea. How about we just clip the earring to my ear for a week so I can get used to the weight? Come on, there's nothing to fear. This is what you've always wanted. You're finally in control. And if the pain wears you out, we'll just go home and take a nice long nap. Get up, see? 
Great Fuzzy, I napped all night. You're a burly. What? Where's Mom? Why did she wake me up? You should have never thrown away your blading helmet. All those crosstown buses really messed up your head. But remember our deal? Till you start pitching in money from your gum scraping job, you have to buy your own groceries. Moose, I don't know what you're saying. Now, can you fix the shower already? I have to get to school. You flunked out of school six weeks ago. You used up all the water trying to drown your sorrows in hot showers. What are you saying? Where's Mom? She moved to Macho Grande when you showed her you didn't need her anymore. Remember? The day you got your ear pierced. She just sent another postcard. <gasps> oh, oh. I guess you failed to maintain a daily antibacterial ear scrub regimen. Ah! I don't want an earring. I want my mom. I forged the signature. Send me to jail, but don't make me work at the Hazelnut Amphitheater. Okay, okay. By the way, they don't send forgers to prison. They make them work at the corn dog heaven. <sighs> Have you seen Pepper Ann? I think she's getting her ear pierced. <gasps> Pepper Ann Pearson, we had a deal! You didn't pierce your ears? Of course not. We have an agreement about next year. Yes. Yes, we do. And after all, you're just looking out for my best interests. You've never been to Macho Grande, have you? Milo? You didn't get your ear pierced either? Someone hogged both the free earrings. I don't know what came over me. There was this piercing gun and a cobra and the smell of disinfectant, and I just threw caution to the wind. So I ran to the drugstore and bought some antibacterial ear scrub, had the earring post appraised to assure that they were authentic surgical steel, and had my mother fax over the signed waiver. I've never felt so alive!